I was just boiling water for tea. Perhaps you will join me. Come. I won't take much of your time. No, take. I am not a busy man. So you were bitten by a wolf in Vermont on March 8th. Hmm. Very auspicious. Very suspicious? Auspicious. Very auspicious. On March 8th, the, the moon was the closest has been to Earth in a hundred years. Oh. Well, that is auspicious. Um, what I'm curious about is uh, if my symptoms could be related to the release of a chemical caused by an animal bite, um, something that medical science has overlooked, uh, but that tribal lore uh, uh, might possibly... Well, among my people, there is only one explanation for your symptoms. Is, uh, that you are becoming a wolf. But, uh, you don't believe that. Why not? We must remember that man has only been out of the jungle for 25,000 years. Please, sit down. Life is mystical. It's just that we are, we are used to it. Catholicism itself. A religion so mystical that even primitive tribes can be converted to it. The stigmata, the return after death, the day of judgment, heaven and hell, all so incredible and so ordinary. But we are used to it. Uh, honey, sugar, sweet and low. Yeah, uh, anything. Honey. Honey. Yeah. Oh. I don't have honey. I've just asked out of habit. You, you should be visiting a shaman who will tell you the rules. I can only tell you the theory. Well, um, <clears throat> do you know any of the rules? Uh, very few. Only that the wolf rests by day and prowls by night, but is always present. That he grows inside a man he's entered until the first full moon. And then he consumes him, killing all but his nature and his heart. Not a great prognosis. But of course, not all who are bitten change. There must be something wild within, an analogue of the wolf. Well. That lets me out. Among my people, I'm known as the guy least likely to have an analog of the wolf. Your people are wrong, Mr. Randall. Sometimes one doesn't even need to be bitten. Only the passion of the wolf is enough. Dr. Alizaeus, um, what I would like to know, and I, not that I subscribe to any of this. Neither do I, really. Only to the possibility. But out of curiosity, um, is there supposed to be any way to stop this metamorphosis? Uh, supposedly, there are herbs and rites and amulets. I don't know the rites. I don't have the herbs. But I, I did find something for you when you called. Uh, yeah, let's see. This is one of the most powerful amulets, which must be worn next to the skin and never taken off. If it works, there is said to be a great pain and weakness while the wolf struggles to emerge and charm holds him at bay. Sometimes drives him out. I have no idea if any of it is true. But it's yours. Oh, no, I, uh... It's a gift. And in return, 
I would like a favor from you. It's in my power. I was recently told that I'm dying. <laughs> Speaking of mystical and terrifying experiences, um, I would like you to buy to me. What? I would like you to bite me. I can't ask you to transform me with your passion, so I ask you to honor me with your bite, and I too will become a demon wolf. You'd rather be damned than die. Damnation is not a part of my system of beliefs. The demon wolf is not evil, unless the man he is bitten is evil. And it, it feels good to be wolf, doesn't it? Power without guilt, love without doubt. decide to believe, perhaps you will give me your gift. It has been a privilege. I've never seen one like 